Okay, so what I thought I'd do today is just show you a couple of little examples uh, that we've built in Excel. Uh, one of them is a round trip that extracts data from um, SAP and then uh, we use that data as part of the sales order entry process. And So I have an embedded script in my workbook here and I'm just going to run that quickly and extract uh, a bunch of records from SAP. So the first thing it'll do is it'll ask me for my SAP credentials. I put those in and the query starts by logging on to SAP and then extracting the data from SAP. And once the data is uh, inserted into the workbook I can go across to my uh, price list here which is very similar extraction of data uh, and then if I look at my order form now it uses that actual uh, list as part of a VLOOKUP against that sheet. So it's the latest data that relates to INCO terms for example and, and other bits of pieces of information that relate to this customer. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to order a few items here and um, you know I, this might be a remote salesman that put, that's puts this data in here. He could, he could put in the part number directly but in this case I'm just going to pick a few items here and now actually what I can do is I can using another embedded script inside this workbook I can actually now create a sales order directly in SAP so let's uh, run it into SAP and my sales order number should come back to me here in F5 normally this takes about 20 seconds um, and it doesn't really matter whether I have a hundred lines in here or there you go, so order 33762. And if I now go into my SAP system, I can go to VA03. Here we go, VA03. And if I just put in that sales order number 33762, you'll see that it's created an order for those three items, and there they are there. Okay, so with that done, let's show you another little example. This one is going to be uh, an example done with a PA30 with, uh, with InfoType 6, which is the employee address. And this one doesn't use query, it just uses transaction uh, recordings. And uh, what it'll do is it'll read the data out of the existing um, structure. So let's just go in there and have a look. Let's put this employee's details in here. It's 81494. And it's John Smothers. Let's have a look at his addresses and see what it says. So his address is 140th Avenue Southeast, Department 123. So uh, let's go out of there. Otherwise, the record will be locked. And let's just run the uh, read data. Again, it prompts me for my SAP credentials. And there you can see there's the address. I'm just going to change it. He's decided he's moving to apartment 125. And now we just update that data. Oops, I need to come out of the cell itself. I should get a message back here that the record's changed. If I go back in again, PA30, put that employee in again, and put in his address. And there you can see his address has changed to apartment 125.